What's going on? I have great news. She lives. Yes, as you can tell by the title of this video, the uh, Frankenrad, Frankenrad monster is alive. It's like, uh, it's like 10.30 at night on Friday night and I haven't done a video in like a week, sorry. I got tied up, you know, with my full-time job and it's been raining and crappy and like 30 degrees here so I can't do much filming. But anyway, I'm in the workshop now um, after everybody went to sleep doing some soldering. I've never soldered in my entire life, but I had to get the, you know, the controller and the battery cradle to match up. So we do solder on a new plug onto the old Rad Rover battery cradle. Success. Um, I watched online videos how to solder <laughs> and then tried to, you know, mimic that. But I mean, mine, I don't dare up to upload any footage of it because you guys will tease me endlessly on how bad it is, but it works. The, the thing is connected and it is functioning. I just, as you can see, I have a, a wiring mess here. I just, you know, just plugged everything in and just let it hang loosely just so I could see if it would actually power up and power the new screen and the new motor and everything. And it does, it works. So uh, I'm gonna show you really quick that it actually does function. So let's take a look at that. All right, so I just got everything kind of just dangling and hanging here loosely right now. I hooked up the controller, obviously, the, uh, the throttle, the screen, and uh, the motor. So we could just see if the front wheel will spin. So check it out. Here's my throttle hanging right here. I'm gonna step in here. We're just gonna pick up the front end of the bike and punch the throttle. Oh, oh, oh yeah, there you go, that, that is the start of an all-wheel drive Rad Rover Citizen Cycle Bike now because it's been heavily, heavily modified. Okay, well that is the progress report. We now have a functioning drivetrain on the front of this bike. So now that I've, you know, got that connected we got power to this thing and i've tested it and i know that it actually will drive the front end i feel a little bit better now about uh, starting to complete this project and hooking up the rest of the stuff getting throttles mounted and the little menu buttons mounted and uh let, let's take a quick look at it here all right so of course we got to mount our controller on the back end here e-bike link that's the the kit that i used i just bought like a whole kit and then i reused my original rad battery so the original batteries back in the original spot on the original cradle all i did was change out the plug you know to a xt60 plug and then the the upgraded battery that i'd put on this bike is actually mounted here i mounted this onto the rear rack so it's bolted down on that for now we're gonna i don't know if i'm gonna leave it like that or build a box or maybe put some cushioning on here i don't know but it's mounted on there for right now just testing purposes is gonna be a slow build out so we gotta mount the controller obviously you gotta Mount the throttle on there and little menu buttons and whatnot. The motor cables have to be routed everywhere. And um, yeah, we, we can start getting going on, you know, the finishing touches on this bike. Getting everything routed and positioned where I need it to be. And once all that's done, I mean, I should have an all-wheel drive bike. Uh, you know, I'm not saying it's the best one out there, but probably one of the only ones out there like this. So yeah, very cool, fun build out here. I will, I'm gonna save some of the stuff. I'm not gonna tell you everything right now and how I'm gonna do this. Uh, I know you have lots of questions, lots and lots of questions. What are you doing with the other screen? And does it, why does it have two batteries? And why does it have two controllers? And is it gonna have two pedal assists? And what's happening? Uh, <laughs> just wait, I wanna save some surprises for the end on uh, how I'm gonna make this function. So yeah, that's where we are. So I'm hopefully gonna get a lot of this completed this weekend. I mean, really, there's just, it's just the little finishing touches. It's just getting everything mounted and, and routed the way I want it to. And once that's done, I can maybe even ride this thing this weekend and see what happens. So I'm hoping I can get another video of a test ride on this thing out very soon. So subscribe, hit the bell if you wanna see that. Thank you for watching.